Hello, this is Maeve Hamrick. Several people have asked how I get this old school V220 look on the screen recordings I do. And what you're seeing here is you're seeing a screen capture of Xterm, which is the standard X Windows terminal application. A couple of years ago, I noticed uh, that uh, Václav uh, Slavinsky had created this retro font uh, to make Xterm, uh, well, actually make anything look like an old deck terminal. Now you can download that original true type file or font file from that URL. Uh, and he there used to be a web page describing how he created it, which was worth a read. It's not too long. But it fell off the internet and I had to go find it on the Wayback Machine. So thank you, Internet Archive, for the <laughs> for archiving it. Uh, there's a second uh, file, a uh, font file, which has a slightly modified uh, single quote. I find that I, <laughs> I have a preference for it. Um, so that's where you can find that one. So once you download either of those true type fonts, um, you're supposed to put it in a directory that the font server knows about and run this fc cache command. But I'm on Ubuntu, so uh, I just double-clicked the TTF file, it launched the installer, I told the installer install, and it seemed to have worked. So now, once the font is installed, uh, you probably want to modify your X resources file and add uh, all of these lines. So these lines here uh, tell X, uh, the X terminal that you know you want to use the font. Uh, that you just downloaded. These lines uh, describe the color uh, of the font. You know, I selected amber. So, uh, if you prefer that white from a VT100, you can modify some of these settings. I also recommend that you uh, set the VT set the terminal ID as VT340 because when you do that, it enables Sixel support which is really cool, and I'll probably have another video about uh, using Sixel, Sixels for interesting things. And uh, yeah, and so that's basically all you have to do. Oh, and I should mention that, yeah, after you modify the X resources file, you can log in, uh, log out, log back in, uh, or you can run uh, this XRDB merge command. Okay, so that's it. I was able to do it. You can do it too. It's pretty straightforward and easy. All right, thanks for listening.